So, we need to start constructing our financial model. A good place to start would be to think of some of the profitability drivers that drive our business. You can separate these into internal profitability drivers and external profitability drivers. Now, what do we mean by drivers? These are factors that directly influence the profitability of our company. So an external profitability driver would come from outside of the company. And this could be something that the business owners have virtually no control over, such as commodity prices on the general international markets, exchange rates, etc., etc. Now, all of these factors directly influence the profitability of our company. Some internal profitability drivers could be the amount of staff you hire, what you pay your salaries, uh, if you can negotiate uh, long-term contracts for fuel and for electricity. Now, these are in the control of management and uh, they come from within the company. So those are internal profitability drivers. So let's think of some of the external profitability drivers now. And these are usually your macroeconomic assumptions going forward. So some for this business would be the copper price that it receives, um, the gold price that it receives. You could also think of the exchange rate because this company is, is located in South Africa, but it sells its copper into the international markets and it receives dollars for its final product. So let's put US dollar uh, rand exchange rate. And uh, other factors such as interest rates, inflation rates, etc., these can also directly contribute to um, the profitability of this, this business. So what you'd need to do in your model, you'd need to start with a base year. So let's assume that we start our modeling in 2020 and then we do an annual model. So you just forecast that forward. And then you'd need to pick a certain set of economic assumptions going forward. So let's assume that we use a copper price of $5,400 a ton, a gold price of $1,500 an ounce, and let's assume we use an exchange rate of 15 rand for every $1 going forward. We then forecast that, let's just assume we leave it flat uh, for sake of simplicity, and then we have all of these assumptions pulling forward into the future into our model. So. In subsequent tabs or subsequent worksheets, we then need to model how our business actually works, how it operates, and how those operational factors interact with these external macroeconomic assumptions in order to deliver us a final number of either a profit or a loss. So I've already done a, a complete economic assumptions tab. I've got some factors such as inflation, um, this is producer price index, which is mainly a manufacturing based, uh, it's your manufacturing cost uh, base of inflation. And what I've done is I've used a choose function, which I highly recommend that you do, um, because for financial modeling, you might want to toggle between different states of the world. So we have a low case, a medium and a high case. And I use this choose function in order to easily toggle between cases. So if I choose case one, it will automatically switch my assumptions that run through my model to the low economic case, okay? So I'm just gonna put that back on medium and show you how that works in practice. So you'd list all of your assumptions for the low case for inflation, for the medium case and for the high case, and then you put a choose function in there that toggles through each and every single one of these options, and then it references a cell so that's, that uh, the choose function knows which case to actually choose. So in this case, the cell is B3, and then each of my options are E5, 6, and 7, respectively. So this is very useful when running different scenarios in your model. And I've done that for inflation, I've done that for electricity prices, and for exchange rates. Uh, the tax rate in South Africa is 28%. So all of these factors going up are largely external profitability drivers because the company has no control over them, including the metal price, the copper price, and the gold price.
Uh, we won't do any hedging in this model for uh, sake of time. Um, but these are also some of your assumptions. Now, these are internal profitability drivers because your business can largely negotiate how they want to hedge. They can hedge using options, and in which case they, they can negotiate strike prices. Um, but if they're hedging using the forward curve, they don't really have that much control over um, the forward curve and uh, the hedge prices that they're able to lock in. Um, but um, once you've done this uh, economic assumptions tab, uh, make sure it's quite flexible so that you can toggle easily between different states of the world.